In this video, you will learn program to check primary key of any number. So basically, we will check whether the given number is prime or not. Prime number is any number that has only two factors, one and number itself. Otherwise, number is known as composite number. In this video, we will discuss different approaches to check primary key of any given number. So let's move into our first approach, that is brute force approach. In brute force approach, we always write code in a way that we do it on pen and paper. For a number n, we check for every number between 2 to n minus 1, who divides the If any number between ranges divides the number n, then return false, that is number is not prime. Else wise return true, that is number is prime. Let's implement this into code. Declare the variable and now call the function. And we want to create boolean type of function so that uh, let's store data variable variable and uh, print a statement. We don't want to check for value less than or equal to because as small as prime number is 2 now loop through 2 to n minus 1 if i divide n then return false and return true if condition is not satisfied Tab complexity in this case is big O of tab. So can we optimize this further? Yes, definitely we can optimize this. So let's see. Suppose any number. I say 36. Now write all factor of 36. Uh, next, write all factor of 36 into pair. Such that is it's satisfied n equal to a cross b where n is number and a and b are pairs in this scenario we observe that in fair pair factorization of any number n if a is factor of n then b is definitely factor of n and b can be written as n divided by so if you find value of a then simply check for all value of a which lies between a and who divides n so there is no need to check for b uh, i hope you understand but what's the maximum value of a for which we are going to check also one thing we can clearly see that this forcer is duplicate 9 cross 4 is duplicate of 4 cross 9 also 12 cross 3, 18 cross 2 and 36 cross 1. So no, uh, so no need to consider this. Uh, so here at max value of a is 6 and 6 is nothing but under root of 36 which is under root of 9. So rather checking for all value till n minus 1 we only we only have to check till under root of n so loop till under root of n times 1 uh, now let's write the code here only one change is required instead of i less than n we write i less than equal to a square root of n or simply i cross i less than equal to n now it's done So time complexity in this case is big O of under root of n uh, which is less than big O of n. So thanks for watching.